in the really early days when the ships started having propellers, they didn't look like this. Till 1837, ship used sails to move forward, but it was going to change. Between 1837 and 39, British built a navy ship called SS Archimis. This was the first steamship driven by the screw propeller. Before this, there were some attempts, but the SS Archimis was the first functional and reliable ship using screw propeller as the main source to move. So what is going to happen in this video? I'm going to bring screw propeller and build an RC boat. This video is sponsored by BCB Way. The main focus in this video is obviously the screw propellers. I printed those with my Ender 3 S1 Pro, but I'm also going to experiment a bit with different pitch propellers. The rest of those are resin printed and because I'm too lazy to mess with the resin printers, I ordered those from BCB Way. The boat itself is over here. This big white ship hull shaped object is made from EBS plastic. I choose the material because it's cheap, easy to work with, light and is love to float on water. Actually this video got delayed two years and I made the hull so long time ago I don't have the footage anymore. But long story short, I got this in shape, sanded a bit and painted with white paint. And that's all. Now we are going to build the rest of the stuff. The first thing I will attach to the hull is the motor's mount. I use double sided tape to keep this in right spot. Then I drill two holes to the hull and secure the motor mount in place with two M5 threaded rods that I cut in the right size. Before I attach the motors, I drilled two more holes for the motor wires. Then I screwed motors to the mount with M3 bolts. The motors that I'm going to use are actually brushless drone motors and they will operate underwater. Just be noted, AC motors have no problem working underwater. Also, DC motors will work, but they have brushes and if they are made with graphite, they will wear out at turbo speed. Now when the motors are connected to the boat, I also attach the propellers to the motors. To hold them strongly to the motor shaft, I'm going to use two set screws. But in my experience, if I screw those to the plastic, they don't work so well and the motor shafts are turning inside the propeller and the motor will spin for fun, not actually moving the boat. So I came up with another idea. The small drone motors that I'm going to use have four holes on the front. If I'm correct, originally those holes are for cooling and also reducing the weight of the motors. But I found better use for those. Because the motors will be underwater, the cooling is not needed anyway. So at one end of the propellers is this type of four extrusions. And you probably already know where I'm going with that. The extrusions will be inside the holes. So even if the set screws fail, then the propeller are still connected to the motor with those four extrusions. But I also use set screws because the motor still can move back or forward. Set screws helps to at least minimize this. Now the props are connected to the motors, but because they are so long, they are kind of very sloppy. If I turn the motors on right now, the vibration will be so big, I don't want to even know what's going to happen. So at the other end of the propellers, I'm going to use this type of supports. Now the propellers are rock solid. The propeller and motor things are kinda done. So we can start with the next step, which is electronics. To control the motors, I'm going to use two 30 MPSCs which match with the motors. I use double sided tape to place them on my desired spot and connect the wires. To drive the motors, we also need power. Those ESCs and motors can also handle 4S battery, but for now I'm going with 3S. To keep this battery on my boat and not falling into the water, I'm going to use the easiest way ever. I'm just cutting the right size hole to the boat hull. Actually, it was kind of messy and took a bit time, but still it's the easiest way to do it, instead of designing and printing some holders. I managed to successfully do it and the battery fits in there perfectly. And it's going nowhere. Now I connect the receiver and it's time to give this a first test. I had a little problem, the bearings vibrated out from the holes, I quickly fixed this with some spacers. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. You might know PCB Way as making custom PCBs. Yes, it's true, but did you also know that they do way more than just PCBs? 
They also do 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding. I have ordered from BCBWay many many times and they have done absolutely amazing job every single time. Also for this video I ordered tracing printed screw propellers that you are also going to test in this video. They are absolutely perfect. So if you need something but you don't have right machines or skills, use PCBWay. PCBWay is your one stop solution. Life have teach me, before you go out and test your boat, you have to go back from first. So this is where I headed and before I'm going to literally drive the boat, I wanna see does it even work. It seems to work and actually has some power. This test you just saw, I used only 15-20% to throttle. ESCs are a bit warm but it worked. I did one run more to use a bit more power. Fire happened. Kinda expected but not really. So, shit. I looked at what other options I have and I don't have many, especially if I wanna keep the AC motors. I have only one option but it should work. This beefy 120 amp ESC, but I have only one of them. So I did some wiring work but it's so boring that I'm not including this into the video. Only kinda negative thing with this solution is the fact that one ESC has to handle two of those motors, but realistically it should handle it. It might blow up but I'm 20% sure it will not. Uh, wait what? Ok, I have another problem. The boat wanna move in reverse. Well, it's an easy fix. Just swap two random gables. For some reason, it didn't work. I tried again and still, it wanna move backwards. Softly said, I was a bit confused. I didn't know what was going on, so I programmed the ESC to rotate the motors in other direction. And even this didn't work. I am now 100% sure I wired something wrong, but I made sure that red is connected to the red, black to black and yellow to yellow. And then it hit me. The wiring is correct if I want the motors to do exactly the same thing, but I don't. I want one of them turn clockwise and other counterclockwise. So I have to swap two random motor wires. This is what I did next and finally it worked. And by the way, the new ESC handles the job. I give it almost a max throttle and it got slightly warm, which is completely fine. Still, one thing is missing. Steering. I solved this problem by using one 9 gram servo. I put one hole to the back of the boat and press that in. Then to the servo is connected one 3D printed piece of plastic that should be rotor and now it's 100% ready. And now finally, I drive next to the lake to give this a real test. So let's go. I instantly notice I gonna turn the boat, it's almost absolutely uncontrollable, but I managed to turn it right, so of course I didn't stop here, I drive the boat as well as I can.
Ser mandó el tampón. When I gave the boat full throttle, the boat capsided. Honestly speaking, it was unexpected. So I did little fishing to get the boat back in short, and for my huge surprise, everything is still working. Yeah, ESC is waterproof, but I didn't expect it's so waterproof. It's AliExpress after all. And even the 9 gram servo was still working, like it was not underwater for 5 minutes. Now I change the propellers to see, will it make the driving maybe a bit more stable. Those are those white screw propellers I ordered from PCB Way, and for some reason I bait at one pair of those red. The GoPro making this boat so unstable, I just had to remove it. I really wanted to get those shots, but, but sadly it's just undrivable. Actually, it didn't feel really different, but I figured it out that for some unknown reason, if I drive the boat in reverse, I can steer it. Like it's not perfect, but at least now I have some control over the boat. And also the ride ends with capsizing. I have one pair of propellers more, also with less aggressive pitch than the previous ones. So I quickly change the propellers and this is the best I can get with those. At the end, if you are going to build Etsy boat, should you consider using screw propellers? Absolutely not. This video was just experiment and I don't recommend those type of propellers for any vehicle. Because they are so shit, that's why the modern ships and boat don't use those anymore. Big thanks to everybody who is still watching this video and have subscribed to my channel. This is really big support for me. And if you want to support me more, then watch this video more 50 times for YouTube algorithm. Again, big thanks for watching and see you guys really soon in my next project video. Bye.